This is my Sonarworks Reference 4.2, how to measure with it. And actually, this video isn't really necessary because it's very easy to use. The big difference between it and the competition is that instead of having to refer to the user manual and set things up ahead of time, the user manual is the actual program itself. It, it, it holds your hand throughout the entire process. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, I have the screen capture going at the same time, and hopefully it goes through. So, my main issue with reference right now is that it has graphical glitches, but if you, if you uh, move another window in front of it, it'll go away. So, I just had to do that. You know, it doesn't, for some reason, when you move the window around, it doesn't work properly. But as long as I do this, it shows up as it should. So... First thing you want to do, settings, I have mine on the following, default, and then uh, as you can see it's version 4.2.1, and that's about it. Now if, if you know what you're doing, you don't, you know, you can actually disable the tutorials, but I'm going to keep it on because I'm a dummy. <laughs> so okay, first is going to say make sure you have phantom power on. Alright, well let me make sure I do. And I do. So check that. Make sure your microphone input is not routed directly. So basically, and now this is messed up. <laughs> All right. So right here, if this was unmuted, that would be a problem. But it is muted, so check. And then I'm using a single audio interface. It is set to 44.1 kilohertz. Let's see. Yep, it is. Uh, and I will even lower the... I don't, I don't know if this actually makes a difference, but I'm going to lower the ASIO buffer size. And then check that. And then you can click next. All right, now, if this is the first time you've done this, it will actually not have anything in it it'll have like a grayed out thing but my serial numbers already been put in here so i can just hit next and if you have another measurement microphone you do have that option but it's really not recommended so hit next and it'll actually show you what the microphone calibration profile is which is pretty cool for the nerds out there like me um yeah hit next and then this is important. Make sure your input is what it should be. Mine is uh, microphone input one. And then if you mouse over on this, if it's you know off the screen a little bit, it'll actually show you the full thing. So this is indeed my output channel. And let's see, tap the microphone a little bit. It's, it's not working. Well, it should be working. Oh, you know what? Duh. I have to put the gain up. Now it should work. No, it's not. Why well, is it not working? Uh-oh. That's not good. Why is it not working? I can see it on... um. Oh, there it is. Now it's working. What the heck? Was that another graphical glitch? I don't know. Check. Check one, two. Check one, two. All right, maybe, maybe if I get rid of... No, I have to have this up, so... All right, play test track. Left, speaker. Right, speaker. Okay, what I like to do is make sure on your audio interface's control panel that you're not clipping your converters. Now, that'll change once the signals start going through and I'll have to adjust it again, but it's approximately at conversation level. Please adjust the volume of your output device. My voice should sound at normal conversation volume. Left speaker right speaker okay so I'll hit next adjust the microphone input gain okay 
That works for me. So play the signals. By the way, if you have a subwoofer, they I actually like to do two sets of measurements, one with and one without the subwoofer, because I think that sometimes these type of programs suck out too much low end, and um, they don't really recommend what I'm saying, but that's how I've used ARC for the longest time, so that's how I've used reference for the past uh, two uh, year and a half that I've had it. Okay, next, and then it says, hold the microphone at the same level that your ears are. So, let's see, right here, so it's about, what's that, maybe, maybe a foot above the backrest. And next, oh, and make sure it's pointed forward towards towards the computer monitor or if you don't have a computer monitor here you know whatever the center of your speakers is because some people had their monitors all to the side so and, yep. wait what hold on keep the mic at the level your ear is while sitting in your listening spot See, this is what's confusing because, I mean, are you supposed to have somebody else hold the microphone or or are you supposed to be the one that's sit it, seated? Well, no. It's a question I'm going to ask um, Sonar, Sonarworks. Aim between the speakers. Yes. Hold the microphone away from your body. Oh, let me get my uh, tape measure out. I definitely will need that. Hold the microphone away from your body. This is definitely important. And then I'm going to give myself six seconds. And then what I'm going to do actually is put myself where I normally, I guess this is about where I would be. Yeah. And then start measuring. Oh, that's right. I have to uh, adjust the microphone input. No, oh. oh, I didn't want you to do anything. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. <laughs> no. Yeah, I didn't want it to go. I was like... Okay. Hopefully my gain's not up that loud. I mean, it... <laughs> it is. I'll leave that one in. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, Cable City over here. I'll have to bleep it out, though, because of, uh, you know. All right, speaker, speaker. Okay, now this is where what I'm going to do. So, not sure how well you guys can see this or not. But, on my speakers... Um, you know, there's a, there's a cover to them and what I'm going to do is just put my microphone up against the cover right here. And so you're, the, the middle of the driver is, um, well, <laughs> not to put it off again. The middle of the driver is right here. So they want you to like put it about a half inch to 
0 0.8 inches away. Um, so I'll, I'll just put it right up against the grill. So, which is, mm, which is about, if I hold my thumb here, so it's about right here. So about three inches higher than the logo on my speakers. Yeah, I got dust. I forgot to dust it off again. Oh well. Let me make sure the video is still rolling. Um, it appears to be. <laughs> so, all right. What's next? What's next? Oh, this one right there. I'll, I'll put the seven. Now, oh yeah, you got to do the, the left one. Stay where you are. Measurements in progress. Left speaker done. Woohoo! Okay, right speaker next. Stay where you are. Measurements in progress. Right speaker done. Neat. Okay, now this part is interesting. Um, I'll redo it just because I don't know if I did it correctly last time. But this is a little bit easier with a better measuring tape, which once again I forgot to, to get, but... Um, yeah, so somewhere around there. Okay, I'm just gonna go by what this says. So it's four, no, it's about five feet. I'm gonna say five feet. And listening position. I know I'm going to need this again, so I'll just put it off to the side for now. And then, so I'm basically redoing what I did in that, that step, about four steps back. So. But this is the actual measurement. No, it's not the actual measurement. It's just seeing, I guess, if the volume's loud enough or something. No, I know it's off. My uh, my left speaker is about, I think it's about an inch closer. I'll double check on that. So if it's five foot even, and we're looking about where 31, which is two seven, two feet, seven inches. So that would make this one two. Okay. Next. And then it just reminds you once again how to position the microphone. And we're good on that. Move the mic to the indicator area. Okay. It's funny because they have a countdown on this one, but.
And so what you want to do is make sure you're always pointed towards the center. So in my case, towards my computer monitor. But um, the other thing is to make sure you're holding your hand out like this. And I'll be switching from my left hand to my right. But uh, yeah. Wish I didn't have a camera right here. Oh, I was putting in the green area. Hold on. why I pulled it off. Still messed up. Hold on. I should have unplugged this before I even started. And now it's just called it's just causing me problems. Okay, now it's separate. Alright. Resume measure. The idea is you never want to have your body in between the microphone and the speakers.
And that's it. Now you just have to save the file. Or in my case, I have to save the file. But the measurement process is over. It seems like a lot. What was it? 31, 31 spots. But you know, because it's so, you know, it's easy to see where you, it wants you to go. Um, yeah. So now I will measure it because I wanted to have it. I want to have it at the very beginning of the menu. I'll save it as zero zero March. Um, March 2019 and then you just hit save and finish cross your fingers that it doesn't crash I haven't ever had it crash at this point but okay and then it gives you the option of turning system wide on or, or what but um at this point so it's it should be closed yeah so like I said there's graphical glitches and I do hope one day that those are fixed, but for right now, um, just got to deal with them. That's how I deal with them. But yeah, reference, reference is a nice, uh, very nice. I don't want to just call it software, but it's a, uh, you know, it's a nice system to have, and um, it's not perfect. I do believe that it needs some high shelf boost and low end as well. But once it's, you know, once it's set to that, all the mids, which are really the hardest things to mix. In my opinion, the mids are set where they need to be and uh, translate better to the widest variety of playback systems. But the biggest thing for me is the fact that if for some reason, you know, I move around a lot or I'm recording in different spaces or mixing in different spaces, it's very, very easy to uh, re-measure. Um, it, it doesn't take like a laser pointer or a bob or whatever those things are called, the things that drop down, um, fishing line. You, you know, you're never second guessing yourself with the software because it knows where you're measuring from. So, uh, you know, to me, that plus the headphones portion of it and system wide just makes it the better value. Um, it's not cheap. It's definitely not cheap. So it's not for everybody. Um, somebody actually said room EQ wizard has gotten better. So definitely check that out. But if, if room EQ wizard doesn't do it for you, then I think that reference is definitely the best bet. Um, but if it's too expensive, then ARC, not an issue. Whatever you go with, hey, I'm not going to bust your chops over it. But uh, for me, reference is the one to go for. It's just easy to use. It's reliable. And um, they keep improving it. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching, guys.